Hello and welcome. It's Whiteboard Wednesday. Leon Street in the house and ready to help you go to the next level. So today's topic is how to get more leads and more clients. If you've got any questions as I take you through this training, guys, just please let me know. Um, give me a hashtag live if you're watching this live and give me a hashtag replay if you're watching this video on the replay. It's always good to know you're out there. There's so many people on social media who are lurkers and never interact but yet they consume the content, they watch the videos. And I'd love for you to be one of our contributing members to our community. Now, if you're watching this on the Leon Street page, great. If you wanna get even more value, make sure you join our community, which is the More Leads, More Clients community right here on Facebook. If you're watching this on YouTube or LinkedIn, then head over to Facebook and make sure you tap that into the search, More Leads, More Clients, and you'll find the community link. Click on the join link and request to become a member in the Facebook group. Why? Because we're all about helping coaches go to the next level. So if you're a business coach, life coach, transformation, leadership, relationship, executive, any type of coach that provides professional services, this is the group for you. So as you may or may not be aware, we do this most Wednesdays where I take you through different trainings and in the group, you will also find more trainings on different aspects of lead generation, sales, running your coaching business and just going to that next level. Um, if it's the first time you've come across me, I'm Leon Street. I'm the number one best-selling author of the marketing book for coaches, more leads, more clients. And I want to get stuck in. So, a lot of people out there who are at that kind of 50,000 up to the six figure mark, 100,000. One of the biggest things is generating leads consistently. So you've got consistent lead flow. So you can either hit, you know, consistently 5K a month, 10K a month, 20K a month and beyond. And there's a lot of people out there who want to make that happen. And for one reason or another, there's something not quite right with the front end. And that generally tends to be the downfall or the kind of bottleneck of actually consistently hitting and getting results. So all I want to do is go through a number of key tactics that you can put in place right now. If you've got any questions, just let me know what your questions are. Um, I do have Adam in the background as well checking. So if there's any burning question about maybe you've hit a roadblock or maybe there's something you're thinking about, well, what can I do to, to generate more leads and therefore get more clients? We'll touch on that. And what I'll probably do, just because it's come to me right now, the epiphany moment has happened, is if there's anything in particular you want me to cover as well, in terms of how you close more clients, I'll cover that as best as possible on today's live stream. We're probably here for around about 20 minutes maximum. That's what we normally do. Um, so by my guesstimates, we've got about 17 minutes or so left. Um, but like I said, if you've got any questions, just let me know, because I will go through um, getting clients as well, which is basically sales. So we'll go through some marketing tactics that you can use, some tips, that kind of stuff, and then we can go into sales and exactly what you can do in your coaching business. Do we have anything right now, Adam? Okay, all right, cool. So let's get into this. So more leads. Now, the biggest thing um, that most people are, are going to be really focused on, I'm just going to call this number one, is what can I do to generate leads now? Now, depending on your business and how your campaigns are set up, that's going to either accelerate you or that's going to put you in a position where you really need to consider what do you need to have in place in order to generate leads. Now, there's some obvious things that you can do. Um, we actually covered this in one of the guides that we give away for free. It's called the Gorilla Guide, the Gorilla Method. Um, and generating leads, it, it can happen, you know, without stuff. You don't actually need stuff other than you need to be active and really going after the people that you want to serve. So one way could be... Um, just like we're doing now, posting. Yeah. So this is going to be posting on social media. So we've got posting. Um, and this can be, I'll put here text. And you're going to have video. There is audio, but it's probably not really one of the big formats um, on social media. And, and one of the key things is obviously what channels, and we'll get into that in a moment. But when you post on your social media, one of the biggest things you're looking at is where are you posting? Because let's face it, if you're, if you're on Facebook and you've got 500, 1,000 friends, probably you know quite a lot of them are either friends, family, 
people who just chose to connect with you for whatever reason are not really your target audience, let's say. So when you're posting on social media, yes, you can post text and video on your personal profile. But one of the big things that you need to be aware of is posting in relevant places. Now, I'll give you a quick example. Let's say there are Facebook groups out there that contain your niche. Yeah, if you're watching this in America, your niche. And so what you need to focus on is where do your audience hang out? Yeah. So if you're posting on social media, you got to know where they hang out. So this is a big one. Yeah, so where do they hang out? You're going to be looking at groups. You may be looking beyond social media. And I'll just throw this in because this still has some room in it. But you're going to be looking at groups. Now, the biggest place in terms of groups are going to be on Facebook and LinkedIn because they're the main places in terms of groups and congregations of where you'll find people. The other thing is that if... If you've identified where people hang out, I mean, it could equally be on social media. It might be YouTube. You just find a lot of people are hanging out, researching different methods, different trainings, different tips, different things. But they're just spending their time on YouTube researching, you know, finding out whatever answers they're looking for to solve the problem that they're currently going through with regards to what you can help them solve. So the biggest thing is posting social media text video and don't just say hey i'm just going to post text because my audience want text or hey i'm just going to do video because my audience only want video and nobody's going to read one of the biggest things that i love to share with my clients is don't base anything that you do on your opinion let the results tell you the truth so post text post videos yeah because your audience is going to respond to different things and you don't have the answers until your results tell you so otherwise it's just a load of bullshit You've really got to focus on, you know, putting your content out there. The audience will answer and speak to you. The next thing is with, with where people hang out, go into groups, go into forums. And I, I posted this in another video where you're not posting stuff so that you've got a clear call to action within the groups because some of those things might actually get you removed from groups. You're going to be posting and responding to comments, responding to other people's stuff as well, which is going to be another element of this, which I'll put in. Um, I'll put this in here. So you're going to be responding. The whole point in responding is people are going to see you in those groups and they look at you as a person who gives value. And quite often, especially when you get into this you know, frame of mind where you want to generate more leads, I'm focusing here on people who are doing 50 to 100,000, let's say. You're, not, you're in this position where you can potentially run some ads and you've got money to run ads. And that's one of the areas I'm going to focus on next as well. But you're also in this place where you probably want to generate income based on the time you have because you don't have as much cash to put into ads so this is a great way go into groups go into forums that type of thing respond to people's polls show up as a kind of influencer within the group or an active person that other people are seeing answering either their questions their posts or other people's stuff and what will happen naturally is people will turn to you and say hey Maybe you can help me with marketing or maybe you can help me with some stuff going on in my life. If you're a life coach, maybe you can help me with business, you know, relationships, whatever it is, whatever type of coach you are, this is where you can get the wins. But what happens is people, they don't tend to either put meaningful responses out there or they don't respond. They kind of get in this place of like, oh, nobody's going to really want to listen to what I have to say or if I keep posting you know after a couple of days I've not generated any leads one of the biggest things is you've got to be consistent in your actions don't expect to really take things to the next level just because you posted for a week or posted for a month you know people take time to get to know you what you'll find is that as you post people are going to naturally want to connect with you send you a friend request other people are going to respond directly to your posts and some of this stuff isn't sit back and wait some of this stuff is when a person likes comments or does anything maybe you've got to send them a friend request yeah maybe you're the one proactively following up and saying hey thanks for liking my post thanks for commenting in my post thanks for sharing my post tell me a bit more about you what you do would love to know you're not selling guys you're just building relationships and that's the other thing about posting on social media so relationships if this is making sense, just give me a yes in the comment if you're watching this. And if you're watching this and you haven't commented below, why are you watching? I want you to interact. 
So relationships, you know, we're humans at the end of the day. We're not bots. So you've got to get into this, this mindset of actually what you're doing is building relationships and have a guess what? Some relationships can be quicker than other relationships to build. Yeah. So look at this. Yeah. And I'm not recommending any of this. Yeah. But you're going to have some that are quick and some that are slow. So if you think, there are some people in this world who get into relationships and have a one night stand very quick. And there are other people in this world who get into relationships and they end up married for many, many, many years. Yeah. Different relationships take different time. And so the point I'm getting to is that if you can help people, there are just going to naturally be people who are in this place where they want to solve something quickly. They may be the people that you build up that relationship with quickly and therefore you can get them over the finish line, i.e., you can get them onto one of your coaching programs by one of your maybe your online courses or digital products. It doesn't really matter. But this is a great way that you can use in your business to generate leads. It requires energy and requires effort. Yeah. So it requires time. This isn't so dependent upon money unless you're employing people to do the work for you. So then it will re require yours. Now, with this, as I said, one of the key things you've got to look at is that this becomes difficult to leverage or to scale up because it requires human interaction, i.e. you. Now, if you want to take this to the next level, I'm going to move you through onto you know, another option you have, which is paid ads in a moment. But this is definitely you can, something you can use to get to six figures. You just have to be aggressive, not aggressive in the sense of you don't do this with values. You don't do this with integrity. I mean, in, aggressive in, in the amount of action that must be done. So if this has resonated, you've probably seen this screen kind of revolving in the background. So tomorrow I actually have a live webinar that I'm holding. Yeah. And I want to invite you personally. The live webinar is all about generating more leads and more clients. And I'm going to take you through approximately 90 minutes of actionable content that you can put in place to get on there. Just register here, leonstreet.com forward slash invite. It's taking place at 8 p.m. GMT otherwise known as 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, because I believe we're in that kind of, um, it's kind of that, that gray area where America's gone through daylight saving times and we go through daylight saving times at the end of the month here in the UK. So 8 p.m. UK time, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you register for the webinar. It's going to be amazing live. So any questions, bring them with you. So anyway, I'm going to take you through another thing that we can look at to getting more leads, more clients. So we've obviously looked at posting, social media. Now, final thing, just before I move on, I just want to point this out that, again, and this is really just to kind of set your own mindset around this. There's people out there who will say groups are a waste of time. Groups don't work anymore and groups this and groups that. And you know what? I find that's a lot of people who aren't testing, who haven't put the effort in. Remember I said this, this here takes time. Yeah, it takes money if you're going to employ people to do it or it, it costs you time and if it costs you money, don't matter how you look at it. The point I'm getting to is that when you're posting in groups, it will work. It works for us. Yeah, um, I get a lot of engagement. I get a lot of people, um, potential new leads who send me connection requests on LinkedIn, connect friend requests on Facebook. I get people opting in, requesting lead magnets, whether it's, you know, a webinar, whether it's PDF guys, that kind of stuff. But it works. The only thing that doesn't work is when people don't invest the time to have the right messaging or they haven't invested in in terms of commitment. They've done one off stuff and like, ah, it doesn't work. I did that. It doesn't work. Blah, blah, blah. Or they've gone into a group with no value in mind. They've gone into pitch. Hey, I'm a business coach. Hey, I'm a live coach. Go and register on my webinar or go and read my latest article. It's amazing. It's like there's no value there. It's your opinion that your webinar is great. It's your opinion that this is, you know, the best PDF guide since sliced bread. Or it's your opinion that you've wrote the best article on LinkedIn and somebody from a group needs to go to your article and vice versa on Facebook. Same type of thing. The only way that you're going to move people is if they're engaged through some kind of story, some kind of content that emotionally engages with them and meets them at the level where they're at. And so that's my kind of, you know, Final closing part about groups, put the time into getting your message right, because I'll tell you what, most of the time, whether it's organic posting, Facebook ads, Google ads, the biggest thing and failure that most people have is that the message is screwed on the front end. 
and then they're wondering why they're wasting money or things aren't working. Look, even when we run campaigns, there's times where I have to spend a lot of money, even just to figure out my own audiences when I'm going for cold audiences. It's all right when you've got retargeted people who've watched your videos and you can target them based on how much percentage of a video they've watched. But the biggest thing and the holy grail in any marketing is always look, what's happening on the front end in cold, yeah? And you've got to be in a position. I was speaking to another business owner earlier, actually. You've got to be in a position, which is what we're going to get onto in a moment, when you do get to paid ads, that there is a budget for building audience and a budget for converting the audience, yeah? And most people just think they have a budget and oh, I want to spend £10 a day and that's going to get me my clients, yeah? There's a bit more to it. And we'll go over that now. All right, any comments or anything, Adam? Just want to check. All right. Cool. So guys, if you are watching this, remember, please interact. You are welcome to leave a comment. I will criticize your comment. I'm joking. I will help and answer you if you leave a comment below. Um, I'm here to help. That's why they call me a lead generation coach. Remember, guys, the webinar is taking place on 21st, which is tomorrow, 8 p.m. UK time, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go to leonstreet.com forward slash invite. When you go to that web site you will see my pretty face and this is the page all you got to do is simply click on this button here put in your name email register it's taking place you'll get the notification emails make sure you're there bring every question you can possibly think of i.e your top three <laughs> that you need solving for marketing i'll make sure that as best as possible i answer it on the webinar it's live i will be interacting it's not pre-recorded um and be there so anyway let's move on let's jump back so another way for you to generate more leads, more clients, this is step two, and then I'm going to do step three. What time are we on? Time is flying. So this one is number two. Right. Paid ads. So if you are at the 50 to 100K or even at the 100 to 250K mark, this is the holy grail of scaling yeah this is i'm able to or i've got a product in place i understand my niche but now i need to get more leads and i actually need to scale up i'm in this position where i've got money to play with and if you're not in a position where you haven't got money to play with so to speak yes you want to look at can i get an roi everybody's going to ask that question or even think it in their mind but there is also this this point where when you run ads you've got to build up to what the roi is are you? you've got to you've got to have some budget to to get eyeballs on you the biggest killer of any business is obscurity not enough of your target audience or enough of your niche know you exist and if they don't know you exist they can't buy from you paid ads is a great way for people to really lock into ah you exist ah you have a service ah you have value ah i'm interested yeah and for me, I said it earlier, just as I was going through, you've got to look at your budget. Yeah, and the easiest way for me to break it down is um, two ways. So audience and conversion. And when you're first starting out, You've got to build an audience, i.e. targeting. Yeah. So you've got to know what's working. You've got to get people to be engaged. You've got to be relevant to that particular audience. Yeah. So your budget is going to be split to building your audience. Once you've started to build an audience and you know it's the right one, i.e. you're getting people to convert on your webinar, convert on your uh, lead magnets, convert on anything. You might even have tripwires, small price products, anything like this, you know, like the book. The key here is to build an audience and then retarget them, i.e. keep the relationship going, which is you know, really cool what you can do, especially with Facebook and Google. You retarget people based on their interactions with you know, either web pages, videos, they've watched certain percentages. This is where you can scale up and generate more leads. Yeah? The biggest thing before getting into your budget is to, to really kind of crack the audience and I'm going to give you a couple of tips that you can use right now because this is the key thing. So last May 2018, Facebook took, I don't know, something like 50% of their audiences away from uh, the, the options you have for targeting. Yeah. So where you choose the age, the language, 
the interest and so on. There was much more you could choose based on a person's income. You could ba um, use it based on their net worth and various other things. And obviously they removed that all to do with these data breaches and third party integrations with the Facebook database itself. So the way that you can really focus on audiences is two, two, not two, I'm going to give you a few, sorry, a few places you can focus. So this is going to be, you're going to have interests. Yeah. So, so the interests, these come from, for instance, audience insights. So these are the demographics that you have available, but here is the big one. And not a lot of people understand this. Because the interest most people get, they might have an interest, i.e. your audience might have read a particular type of book. Um, they might follow a particular type of guru, um, influencer, whoever. And so long as they exist in Facebook, you can target them. The other one is your targeting is going to happen in the ads copy. Yeah, and not a lot of people realize this. The way that you write copy, the way that you script videos must appeal and must meet your target audience at a place where they see themselves within the copy or the video. Because if they don't relate to it, it's not relevant. You're not going to engage with them. Yeah. And what most people fail on is they've probably got semi decent targeting with interests, but their ad copy is just poor because they haven't considered you know, what it is that they need to do to emotionally connect with the audience. And this is a big thing, because if you think about the timeline, I mean, here, here's a simple one. You, you think about, oh, I'm going to create a great ad, but then you've got to think about the context of the, the different channels you're using, i.e. Facebook. Um, you might be targeting on YouTube, i.e. YouTube video ads. You might be doing stuff on LinkedIn. It doesn't really matter, but you need to look at what is the content saying, yeah, because the content of your ads, the copy, the videos is part of how you are going to find the right audience because this is going to start the first steps in relationship. And what will generally happen is at some point you are going to retarget those people with your conversion ads where now they know you, they like you. Yeah. And they're at the point where they want to consider whatever your offer is. Yeah. So whether you want to get somebody... To, to book in on a strategy call, discovery call, sales call, um, register for webinar, get a lead magnet, whatever it is, whatever your call to action is, even buy a product if you've got a product ready to go. So these are the ways you need to look at. But the beauty of this is when you've got your paid ads running, this is how you scale a business. Hopefully this is making sense, guys. Um, if you've got any questions, I've got one more point that I'm going to tick off today and then we'll finish in around about seven minutes. I know we've gone over, but you know what? It's good stuff right now. Register for the webinar, leonstreet.com forward slash invite. And when you go to leonstreet.com forward slash invite, you will get to this page. Click on the orange button, register. It's taking place at 8 p.m. UK time tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Register for the webinar. It's live. You'll get me there. I'll be live interacting, answering questions and giving you great content. Um, I did a survey recently and here's how I did the survey just to prove that Facebook groups and LinkedIn groups don't work actually they do i just put posts out there saying people what do you hate about webinars and you know what the biggest thing was people not providing value and just basically showing people what they need to be aware of but not stuff people could implement or action straight off the webinar because a lot of the people who responded to my post said whoever is holding the webinar is not respecting our time they're giving us fluff based on a promise of a good hook, but then they're not giving us the juicy bits we can actually take away, regardless of whether we take up the offer or not. See, the thing is, people hate to be sold to, but they love buying. You see, the thing is, when you give people value, they'll see the value in what your offer is and therefore take it up. And that's what this webinar is all about. So make sure you're registered. Final, final points on paid ads. Remember, split your budget into building audiences. Second part is into conversion. What can you expect from budgets? Well, if you're, if you're playing with Facebook ads and you're doing about 100K, six figures, you should easily be able to spend 1,000 a month. The, the biggest opportunity you have is the person who can spend the most on acquiring customers is the one who generally wins in the marketplace. If you don't have that or it's kind of like tight in terms of finances, stick to point one that I gave you on using social media to go after, 
you know, generating new leads, new clients. There are other things you can do out there. People will tell you about SEO. People will tell you about networking face-to-face and whatever else. I'm just giving you stuff that you can probably implement right now. Whereas things like SEO and all those things, they're great, but they take more time. Yeah. And there's no reason you've got to wait three to 12 months to, you know, get really great SEO rankings or whatever other activity you want to try. See, the thing is you can go business networking and go into a room of people who are not your niche. They're unqualified. They're they're not the kind of people you want to do business with. And you end up wasting half a day just to get to that on the hope that somebody can refer you or somebody is going to be a client in the room. This stuff you can do now. Cool. Right. So in fact, I can fit it on here. Three. You know, really have to be careful. I'm seeing all these pe- brand new markers. I'm just smearing myself in permanent marker. Anyway, so third part is if you're going to get more leads, how do you get more clients? Well, you only get more clients when you get to sales. Now, without sales, I'd say to a greater extent, and I'm just kind of highlighting this, to a greater extent, marketing is pointless because... Yes, you will attract people in from your marketing, but at the end of the day, a business doesn't survive on just being known. It survives on actually putting money in the bank. So getting more leads, more clients requires you to sell. Now, it's okay if you're cool with selling. Yeah, there's a lot of people who are cool and there's a lot of people who aren't. Um, I.e., okay, I'm good at selling. Yeah, or I'm okay at even attempting selling. So what that also means is obviously everybody comes in at different levels, different skill sets. Now, to get more clients, once you've got leads, once you've got people booked in for calls, or once you are in a position where you have either got somebody who's interested in buying from you, most of the clients that I work with, the coaches that I work with, generally are going to sell a higher ticket offer, and they're going to close on the phone. Now, there's alternatives to close on the phone. You can close on the phone yourself, or you can outsource it to a salesperson or like a high ticket closer. Yeah. So when it comes to selling, you don't have to be the the sole salesperson. Yeah. And so the key here is you want to play by your strengths. Yeah. And a lot of people get into this place where they're, they're trying to do something that they have no passion for. They have no skill for, and the likelihood is going to get no result for it. Yeah. So look into having a salesperson and back it up with, hopefully you've seen this. Is everything on screen, Adam? So what you want to have when it comes to sales is you want to have a script. Yeah. And okay, cool. Just making sure you can see this guys. Like I said, if you've got any questions, any comments, have we got anything? No. All right, cool. You guys are quiet, man. Need some comments, need some love. Make sure you do love this video. Like it. If you're watching this on mute, well, you're missing out because you need to hear this stuff. Um, maybe we'll do some, we'll do some subtitles later on. Yeah. <laughs> you should listen now though. Anyway. So, scripts think of a hollywood film think of a hollywood actor or actress yep we've all watched some of the great films out there uh, marvel avengers age of ultron infinity wars and so on and so forth i know there are other films out there pulp fiction some of the classics the godfather some of the classics carlito's way just sharing some of the films i like mostly but anyway there's a lot of other good films out there what is it um how to lily is it I can't even remember. I was trying to think of one. Is it Legally Blonde? There you go. Yeah. So there's other kind of rom-coms and comedies and all that kind of jazz. But anyway, the points I'm getting to is if actors are using scripts in order to know their lines and then they learn the lines and then they deliver a great performance in a movie that goes and wins an Oscar or an award or you just really like the movie, it's because it comes across authentic and natural. And a script is the first part in you actually getting more clients. If you don't have a script in place, then the biggest thing you can do is to figure out what script you need. Now, there's a couple of questions that you're going to need to have in a script in order to make it effective and sell. It could be selling an event, could be selling your coaching program, your coaching service, whatever it is, even consultancy. You need a script. And on the webinar that that I'll be doing, which I've already spoken about today, you'll get some, you'll get three exact questions you can use to get your sales script on the go, get started, get moving, and really take things to the next level. So Go to leonstreet.com forward slash invite, jump on the webinar, and you'll get the script questions that you can use immediately in your business. So 
for me, sales is a key component. If sales is not for you, look at partnering with somebody who can help you out, pay them a commission, get your sales, go for volume. If you can't afford to pay a commission, probably your prices are too low in the first place, yeah? And if your prices are too low, it's because you haven't created an irresistible offer to the right target audience that allows you to make a profit and to actually provide the highest level of service to your target audience. If that doesn't make sense, jump on the webinar because I take you through step by step on the seven key areas you need to understand to grow your coaching or consulting business. So I think that's it for today. Free stuff free training. Hopefully you guys have got some value from it. And if you haven't, it's because there's something wrong with you, not me. <laughs> I'm joking. But if you have got any questions, if there's something that you think actually that kind of made sense and I want to know more, drop a comment below this video. Um, otherwise, make sure you register for the webinar. Yeah. The webinar. What's that? How much, is it? How much is the webinar? That's a great question. <laughs> from Gemma. Here is the answer. The webinar is free. Yeah. So I'm going to give you 90 minutes of pure training. Yeah. And you'll get great content on there. And there is one offer. And the offer is if you like what I present on the webinar and you want to find out more, then I will invite you to find out more. That's it. There's not going to be any hard sell. You're going to get some great content from me because the way I look at webinars is it's the first interaction of me providing value for a lot of people who, whether they've come across any videos like today or anything else from me, they get to see more of what I'm about. And I take you through some great key areas in growing your coaching business. So the webinar is free. Make sure you join. Sometimes you kind of make assumptions that everybody will get it, but yeah. the webinar is free. Just go to the invite link. Um, I don't know if Adam's put it underneath this. There is a link in the comments. And obviously you, you will see in a moment where the invite link will be on screen, leonstreet.com forward slash invite and make sure you register. It'll be tomorrow, 8 p.m. UK time, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I think that's a wrap for Whiteboard Wednesday, folks. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. I'm enjoying my new office. I like the new setup. Yeah, flip chart. Just got to like markers all over my things. I've got to perfect my writing technique. But anyway, enough of the small talk. Thanks for watching. Leon Street from Business Owner Elevation and I'll catch you on the next Whiteboard Wednesday.